in tape one, we discussed these, uh, this tool, the anvil and the hammers. We went over it a little bit. We discussed some height. We discussed configurations, things like that. But we want to get into a little more depth with this now. Now I want to show you how these things work. So come on. We're going to go out and I'm going to show you how this stuff works. But we're going to need, we're going to need some other equipment for this. But this, this deal I'm going to show you, this is really going to set it home to you. It's going to, it'll really, you'll never forget this. I want to show you. When steel gets hot, it acts just like cow shit. Okay? I have some cow shit. That's good. Okay. I got a big pile of cow shit right here. Now, I'm going to take this broomstick. Okay? Pay attention to the shit. I'm going to put this broomstick right in the middle of it. Ready? See where the shit went? Okay, now, now we're going to use a basketball. Pay attention to the shit. <laughs> you see where the shit went? We're going to do it all over again. We're going to do it one more time. This time we're going to go a little slower. You notice I really hit the shit with the stuff, with the, with the broomstick and the basketball. You don't have to hit the shit that hard. So we get some more. Okay, one more time. I'm not going to hit it that hard this time. But pay attention to the shit. Right there. Okay, one more with the ball. take each one of these three pieces and I'm going to use the things we saw up in the woods. I'm going to use broomsticks and I'm going to use basketball. I'm going to take the first piece, I'm going to use a basketball against an edge. Take the next one. Let's put it out here. Hit it eight times. Okay. That's two. Now, we'll just do one right here. Okay. Now, stack them up again. Right here on the anvil, and we'll take a closer look. You see the one that we used, the edge, a nice radius edge, and the flat of the hammer, right here, we got this much length. Compare that with the second one. That's the one where we used the horn and the flat of the hammer. We got the same length, but look at the width that we got. Okay, there's a bit more work in this one. Now, the one that we just hit flat to flat, we didn't get near the length that we got on the other two, and we got even more expansion off of that. This is what we're talking about. The stuff that you saw up in the woods, all of these edges, all the edges of this, of this anvil, all the edges of this hammer, and all that are all the broomstick that you saw up there. This flat right here, this flat right here, this flat right here, that's the, that's the basketball. So, what's the point here? If, if we're trying to control where we want material to go, we're going to use an edge. We're going to use an edge to force that material to go only one way, the way we want it to go. If we don't care where the material goes, then we'll hit it flat to flat. Because we don't care. We want it to go everywhere. And that's the point. But this, this little deal right here, that's your clip. 
If you're drawing clips and you end up with a, a big, wide clip and no height, you drew it with a basketball. If you got a nice, tall clip and it's narrow, it's contained, everything looks sharp, you did it with a broomstick.